I was watching another video about loneliness. Someone was giving advice, an expert apparently, a, a doctor. Um, and she was saying that people don't, a lot of people don't uh, have fulfilling friendships, fulfilling partners, and they feel alone in those uh, partnerships and friendships, which I've experienced and I see it all the time. I actually see it all the time. I never see someone who is happy with their partners or friendships. Their friendships especially. <laughs> the amount of backstabbing or talking behind everyone's backs. It's just staggering. And I lived it. So, yes, that's true. Um, so her, her suggestion, her solution to that problem echoed every single person that... I told them that I, I'm not happy with people. They, she said, oh, you need to find better friends. You need to find a better partner. Oh, <laughs> why didn't we think about that, guys? Crikey, light bulb. Oh my gosh, why didn't we think about that earlier? We need better friends. Mind blown. Why? I can't believe. Yes, I'm being sarcastic. Is that and that? That's all she said. That 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 was the only solution. Oh, and that was it. That was the end of the video. You need to find better friends to fulfill you, right? This is what we're up against, guys. How do you tell? It's just like telling me, oh, your family don't support you. Your family are all the time negative, find a better family. See, it doesn't work, does it? Oh, you don't like your colleagues? Find better colleagues. Please tell me, how does this work in your mind? How do you tell a, a kid at school? Oh, you don't like your friends at school? Find better friends. It's just so dumb. I'm really sorry. It sounds so stupid and so lazy. So it's just... Oh, oh, you you have anxiety? Don't. Oh, you worry? Don't worry. You you know what I mean. There is never a solution. Teach people how to be okay by themselves. Oh, you don't like your friends? Don't tell them find better friends. Tell them, cool. Don't hang out with them. Don't drain your energy from you know with them. Don't have your energy drained from them, by them. Start focusing on yourself. Ignore them. Focus on yourself. They're dragging you down anyway. What is it, video games all the time? Drinking all the time? Focus on you. You have one life. Life is short. And do that alone. It's okay to do that alone. And if you really want to find other friends, by becoming a better person, by focusing and starting loving yourself, you will find better friends, hopefully. But don't worry, you have the tools that even if you don't find better friends, you'll be fine. Give people that option as well. Don't tell them stupid solutions, find better friends. Can you imagine? I remember when I was going to therapy, this is what they were telling me. That's why it made me feel even worse. Even worse. The therapy, I don't know if, if, I, if I was so unlucky that I got a really bad therapist, but yeah, find better friends or maybe go start a, you know. <laughs> he actually said go and start, a, um, do like a hobby like, because I do have a, a few hobbies. Start a, go and start a sport, like a group sport with other people. I did it. I, I did. Did it work? No. It made me even, feel even worse. I, start, <laughs> I started playing volleyball with other people. Did I connect with anyone? It made me feel even 
worse. They were worse than the friends I had. <laughs> um, yeah, I wish someone told me, or I wish he told me, my therapist, I wish he told me, don't worry, Joe. Oh, you don't, you don't connect with anyone? What a great chance, what a great opportunity to remove all these bad friends and start focusing on you and building up yourself. Focus on you. Who will be there forever for you? You. It, it is that simple. Be happy on your own. Find it in you. Find that strength. And when you, I know it's hard. It's difficult in the beginning. You pass that obstacle, that limit. You jump over the fence, and it's fine. You don't even think about it anymore. You think about other people and. No, and you have standards. You want quality after that. If, if someone doesn't offer me a better deal than the one I give myself, why do I? I don't want it. I really don't. I don't need it. That's it. I don't even <laughs> want it. And I don't need it. I never, even at work, I, I work with amazing people. These people I work with are lovely people. Do they ever ask anything about me? No. I don't gain anything as a human from them. It's just lovely to have a, a, you know, a little lunch break, a little drink. But do I have... They don't know anything about me. They never ask anything. I know everything about them because I'm genuinely curious about them. I know the names of their entire families. I know every single thing. I know everything, guys, about them. They know nothing. I come back from holidays. I do that... I remember coming back from Japan and it was such a massive thing for me. I was so excited about that trip. I come back and no one asked me how it was. Not a single thing. Straight away in the office gossip. And that's fine. That's fine. Would I die from it? Would I start crying from it? From it? No. They proved me right over and over again. And I just carry on with my life. Would I be, would I feel down that they don't ask me? No, they just, like everyone else, I move on with my life, I focus on me. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for listening. That was another rant and thank you for <laughs> being understanding. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day.